from WPTV. This is Today on 5 at 11. How does this sound to you? A pop-up dinner at a secret location. It's a unique event that's happening this weekend to benefit Dreyfus School of the Arts. And joining us today are Stephanie Kohinski with uh, Dreyfus School of the Arts, as well as Rafael Clemente, who's the executive director of the Downtown Development Authority. Thank you both so much for being here. Pleasure. Everything is white, so white is all right today. All right, <laughs> Stephanie, let's, let's start with you. Uh, this is a, a different kind of an event, a secret location. Mm -hmm. Guests can bring food or be served. So how does it work? Well, uh, this is actually our fifth year of the event, yeah. so people are starting to figure it out now. Um, you can you buy a general ticket for $50, or you can get a reserve table for $100, um, and you bring your own food, your own drink. You kind of have your own personal dinner party within the big event. All right, and you know, white makes a, a statement. It's yes. you know, it's kind of bold, you know. So, uh, you know, what what is it uh, that where did the dress and white theme come from? Uh, from I guess is what I'm getting at. Well, it was kind of inspired uh, many years ago. One of our board members had been to Dinner en Blanc in Paris, and she thought, you guys should really do something like this. And we took it, and we ran with it, and we started this tablescape competition, which has kind of gone crazy yeah, over the well, years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, we go from everything. You can kind of see a little sample here that we have from MB Designs here. Beautiful. Beautiful, big, and then yeah, we also yeah. have quirky and weird, and everyone goes a little <laughs> bit crazy, and they get more intense every year. All right, year. so it's beautiful, but how does it benefit uh, the school's foundation? Um, well, actually, all of the proceeds from the event come back to the Dreyfus School of the Arts Foundation. And our primary purpose is to raise money for the school, to fill in the gaps between what the district and the state provide and what the school really needs. So we do art supplies and materials for the classroom. And we do um, artists in residence and guest artists and kind of all of that stuff that makes Dreyfus as impactful and special as it is Very and nice. really helps out the students. And Raphael's been sitting there just waiting for his turn, <laughs> no, all, all I... pretty and white. Uh, tell me why you wanted to get involved in this. So having Dreyfus School of the Arts in the downtown area is a major amenity for, for West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a serious player in the cultural landscape here. They churn out not just incredible artists, but they bring a lot to the community. So a few years back when the Downtown Development Authority started working more closely with the arts, Dreyfus was one of the top uh, entities or organizations that we wanted to be able to collaborate with. Right. And when they started producing um, the Dreyfus and White event, it's something that we also saw. I, you know, I think a lot of people caught wind of what was happening in Paris with yeah. the Dinner and White, cool. the Dini and Blanc. And when you guys started doing it, it raised everybody's eyebrows like, wow, this is a really cool event in our city. Um, personally, I think it's one of the neatest things that happens in downtown West Palm Beach. It's an incredible showcase of our city, of our public spaces, and to have it, you know, as a partnership with, with yeah, the arts that's, program. That's a win-win. It's yeah. a win-win. Excellent. All right. So you guys got on board as a sponsor. So again, Dreyfus and White is this weekend. It's uh, 50 bucks a person. The location, as we said, is a secret. It's revealed an hour before the event. So head to their website to get a little more information. All right. Thank you both for being here. Oh, it was a great you. event. All right. Thank you. And you, right. you guys have your outfits all set to go. <laughs> I didn't get the white memo today. Here's Steve Villanueva with a look at the forecast.